So this is actually a tricky, uh, tricky question. And um, in this question, you are asked to what? Access the femoral vein to obtain blood in a patient that is collapsed. Do you know what is a collapsed patient? A collapsed patient is like a patient that, um, will I say have, have like a hypotension, hypovolemia. So the blood is not even flowing the way it should be. That I can be able to just see veins like that, okay? So you have to actually know the anatomy of the femoral vein. You have to know where the femoral vein is. And you have to know how to locate the femoral vein, okay? So the full question is, where and how would you find the femoral vein to obtain venous blood in a collapsed patient? Where and how? Very crazy problem. Now, this is how to do it, okay? So you might not understand this image, but you understand this one, okay? So the thing is, this is what? The femoral vein. Now, there's a technique on how to locate the femoral vein here. If the patient is collapsed and all the blood vessels are kind of like going down, okay? So that's what they want to hear. Now, to find the femoral vein and obtain venous blood in a collapsed patient, you follow these steps. First of all, you have to check out for the location. Now, the femoral vein is located in the groin area, and that's medial to the femoral artery. Okay? So, you can see this is a femoral artery. Coming medially, this blue thing you see here is a femoral vein. Okay? So, it's located medial to the femoral artery, and it's lateral to the what? Pubic tubercle. Right? It's lateral to the pubic tubercle. Okay, then moving, it is approximately what? 1.2 centimeters medial to the what? Femoral pulse. You know, what we'll be pulsating here? The thing that will be pulsating here will be femoral artery. Okay, so once you feel this pulse, like the femoral artery is beating, just move like what? 1.2 centimeters. 1.5 centimeters or between 1 to 2.5 centimeters. Of course, if you feel the femoral artery pulsating, if you move and you feel the next vessel, you know, right? Okay, so that's just how to locate it. Then landmarks, the landmarks used to locate this is what? You have to identify the pubic symphysis, that's the prominence, a bony prominence of the front of the pelvis. Once you locate the pubic symphysis, we said that what? It is just lateral to it, okay? Or if you locate the femoral pulse, that's the femoral artery beating. It is just between one to two centimeters medial to it. Okay. So move after you locate the femoral pulse, you move between one to two centimeters medial from the femoral pulse to find the femoral vein. Okay. So that I just move blindly. You still feel once you feel the vessel there, you should know. Okay. So this is just how to access how to locate the femoral vein to obtain venous blood in a collapsed patient.